Hello, my name is Marie, and today I'll be discussing about sun power. So if we take a look at the picture, we know that this is a solar power plant. So we know that this is really big. So what are the possible questions that we can make? So it's time for us to go to the whiteboard. Okay, so I have here a question. What is solar energy? Solar energy is the energy from the sun that is converted into thermal or electrical energy. And I have another question okay, that is related to the article. Okay, what is a solar power plant? Okay, it is... It is something that uses the sun's rays to heat a fluid to high temperatures. And the last is, what are the benefits of having a solar power plant? Of course, we know that having a solar power plant is important. We know that it is sustainable. It is also renewable, so we will never run out of it. And it can also be used as a natural source of power to generate electricity. Okay, so it's time for us to read this. Okay, Morocco's giant new solar power plant captures the sun's rays to produce clean, renewable energy. Okay, I mentioned the word renewable a few seconds ago. So I'll start now. Row after row of curved mirrors glisten in the sunlight in Orzazat, Morocco. The city is on the edge of the Sahara Desert. The giant mirrors surround a power station called Nur 1. Nur means light in Arabic. The plant harnesses the sun's energy and turns it into clean, renewable fuel. On February 4th, Morocco's king, Mohammed VI, pressed the button to turn on the electricity. Nur 1 is the first phase of a much bigger $3.9 billion, $3.9 billion project. But even at this early stage, it is one of the world's largest solar power plants. Okay, currently, California's Mojave Desert is the world's largest solar thermal power plant. Okay, going back to this. By 2018, when Nur 2 and Nur 3 are completed, the complex will be the biggest concentrated solar plant in the world. It is expected to deliver energy to 1.2 million Moroccans. A concentrated solar power plant stores the sun's energy even when there is no sunlight. Isn't it amazing? Mirrors capture the sun's light and heat up a liquid that is mixed with water to create steam. The steam turns turbines that power a generator to produce electricity. It's time for us to move on to the next page. Okay, so this is the view of Morocco's Nor 1 solar power plant as seen from above on February 4th. Okay, and in here, you notice that there are two men here. Okay, this is King Mohammed VI at the Paris Climate Summit last fall. Okay, so I'll continue reading. Nur 1 will continue to generate power for three hours after sunset. The goal is for the completed complex to produce power for 20 hours a day. It will also have the ability to store power for another eight hours. Okay, a boost for clean energy. Morocco has little oil or gas of its own. It depends on other nations for more than 97% of its energy. But the country gets about 3,000 hours of sunlight a year. This project shows there's hope for countries that are not rich in petroleum, says Akima el Morocco's junior minister for the environment. She says the solar power plant will give Morocco its autonomy. Solar energy will also allow Morocco to reduce carbon emissions that pollute the environment. This is by Glenn Greenberg with AP Reporting.
think. Why is the North Power Plant an important step for Morocco? Of course, we know that it can generate electricity. And in here, you can see the power words. We also noticed that there were a lot of, not really a lot, but there were two or three highlighted words in the text. So one of them is the word autonomy. Autonomy is a noun. It means independence or freedom. Okay, so you can see the meaning in the chat window. So if we use the word autonomy in a sentence, we can say the Philippines gains its autonomy after so many years. Okay, the next word there is the word harness, which is a verb to make use of. Harness. Okay, harness, it means to control something. Okay, this is the other meaning. Okay, harness or harnesses, to control something, usually in order to use the power or its power. Okay, if we use in a sentence, we can say, harnessing wind is a new source of power. Okay, another highlighted word there is the word generate. Okay, when you say generate, it means to bring into existence. Okay, so if we use it in a sentence, we can say solar energy can generate electricity. And the last here is the word emission. Okay, emission. Okay, that means the act of emitting or causing to flow forth. Okay, so emission. Okay, the act of emitting or causing to flow forth. Okay, so if we use it in a sentence, we can say, we will have to monitor the chemical emission. And that's it. Thank you for listening. My name is Marie. I hope you will have a nice day. Goodbye.